hi guys welcome to salesforce troop and this is the ninth video of our covid 19 safe checking app series and in today's video we'll see how we can deploy the app to heroku and in the previous video uh, we have completed the uh, app development basically end to end we are able to submit the form and the form gets submitted into the google sheet so now we're going to deploy and to before deploying we should know few things like how to sign up to heroku how to log into heroku what is heroku cli so let's go and first sign up to heroku so if you don't have any heroku account you can go to google and type heroku sign up take the first result and it will take you to a sign up form fill this details and create an account and you will get an email and once you verify that email you will able to log into heroku so once you verify it you can go and type heroku login and you can go to heroku login and sign up i already logged in so for me it's logged in directly and once you have your account up and running you need to download a heroku cli that help us to run the command from our vs code that directly connect to heroku so type heroku cli download in your google and it will take you to our description or documentation page where you can see how you can download the heroku cli it's all steps are given here and based on your operating system you can download it so for mac you can use homebrew for windows direct installer for ubuntu and all and with pretty clean instructions are there so you can follow these instructions so in my case the heroku is already installed and to verify that heroku cli to verify that let's go to vs code and i'm inside my app once your heroku cli is installed and you type heroku minus v or hyphen v it will return the heroku version the cli version it means your heroku is installed then next what we want to do is we want to connect our CLI with the Heroku cloud basically we are trying to connect our local to the server and for that what we're gonna do we'll type Heroku login and it will say press any key to open a browser so I press any key you can A B C any so I pressed one and it will take you to a login page and you click on login and it says I verified your credentials and you can close the tab and once you come back you will see you logged in as salesforce troop at gmail.com that's my email id that i am using to connect to heroku i'll clear the terminal now and now we have to perform some tasks before pushing the code to heroku so now right now when we are running the command npm run watch it's running the client separately on 3001 and our server running on 3002 so i want a way uh, we can deploy both things separately but our app is very small so i'm i want to deploy the app as a one bundle and it should host on a single endpoint and for that what i can do is i can serve the client from the server itself and that's very easy and it's already given in the script server.js we can move the this code directly to server.js as well but let's go with the simplest approach in server.js if you see we are using app.use express static and we are saying express server you serve the static resources that's under the distribution folder and distribution folder we create by running a command npm run build so what we're gonna do is we'll take these two lines We'll copy it and come to api.js and paste it below this so now let's run and bundle this command first so we'll say npm run build so it will bundle our code and generate a distribution folder it's already there but it will delete and regenerate it with the updated code so now it's get deleted so it's generating the bundle file so now new distribution folder is ready and now to run this what we can do is 
we can simply go to package.json and see which command only run the api.js so now we'll run this command only and our front end and back end both should be up and running and for that we'll say npm run start api and it start the server at endpoint 3002 i'll copy this i'll go to browser and enter that and now you can see that it's i'll zoom it a little bit now you can see that our front end is also hosting through endpoint 3002 not from 3001 and let's fill one detail john or i'll this time i'll say mike and mike at gmail.com some file number and hit check in and now it's submitting the form and it's submitted welcome mike and if you go here and you can see that mike details has been added and now what we can do is now we know our we our front end is serving through the back end only basically express server is hosting our front end as well so that's running fine and i don't want this api v1 endpoint to come on the screen and for that what we can do is we'll just simply say api or in the last console we'll say app is running on that's it and we'll do one more change before deploying to heroku heroku understand or basically add the port dynamically and for that it just bind it to directly process.env dot port not api underscore port so we'll remove api underscore from both of them if you looked at here under the server.js it's already not available only in api.js it was there so i removed it from here and now we'll follow some steps for deploying it so before that i'll stop the server and now i'll run the build command again because we have done some changes in api.js and let's add one more file here but before that let's go to a slides so these are the steps that we should follow while deploying our lwc oss app to heroku this is the slide that i use in my previous course so till now we have performed uh, we have our app ready we have heroku version ready basically heroku cl is installed we have heroku login now we'll create an heroku app so let's go and create the heroku app and here to create the heroku app let me clear this i'll say heroku create and it will create an app for us on heroku and our app name is safe iphone journey 3000 something and this is the git version of that heroku so this git will point to heroku only we'll use this url in a minute let's go back and now our app is ready now we have to create a proc file proc file are is a file specific to heroku that gives instruction to the server what to perform and let's go and create this and it will be at root level and it starts with capital p proc file and there is no extension no dot nothing just hit enter and here what we're gonna do is we'll write the command first we'll say web colon we are telling this is a web app and then we are giving the instruction or the command that server has to perform so we're saying npm run start api and that is the command that we use to start our api.server that's the command we are saying run npm run start api so we have added that instruction to proc file let's go back and now we'll add these details to our git so let's go back and perform the git operations here so first operation is git init then we'll say git add all the files and we'll say commit message the git commit message is deploying covid safe checking app 
and now we are going to add set the remote so that my machine know at which git instance of heroku we need to push the code so we'll say git remote add heroku and then we need to get the git url that we got while running the command heroku create copy this and paste this url after that and hit enter and then we'll run the command i'll clear this or i'll not clear it maybe we need this url now the final command is git push heroku main and i'm hitting enter now this will push the code to heroku and where it will push the code it will push the code to this git url and it's saying no app as young sure found so let's fix this issue so this error is because there is already a heroku remote exist so what we can do is and clear the console first and add a command git remote remove heroku so i'll hit enter and now i'll set the heroku remote again so git remote add heroku and that url and now it's added it now let's try to push and see whether it's allowing us to push so i'm running the same command git push heroku main and if it starts yes it started running the command so it will take one or two minutes so it will perform all the operation installing the binaries resolving the node versions and everything take some time to install the node modules now it's creating the build configuration starting the build process it shows you each and every step that it's performing then now it's caching the node modules pruning the dev dependencies and it shows build succeeded now it's compressing so now it's saying your deployment is done and the url of your app is here so we can copy this url and go back to our browser and open the new tab paste this url and now you can see that it's showing us the ui and on the browser we can test the api as well so i'll say slash api slash v1 slash test and it should return api is running successfully so our api is also running successfully now we have to perform two tasks so the first task is in the front end we have to update our base url so inside the module my app app.js now we are using this url as the base url so i'll replace it with our heroku app url safe journey this now going forward our base url and the next step is to test our app after deploying we need these api keys to be set and to set this what we're going to do is we'll go to heroku and look for your app name go to dashboard will land directly on the dashboard so our app name is safe journey i'll open this and now we'll go to settings we'll go to configuration variables i'll zoom it a little bit and reveal config where and here we'll pass that so here the first key is sheet id i'll copy this i'll create a key sheet id and paste the value and click add then we'll add the client id or client email and then we'll add the client email and the last one and the bigger one is the private key and copy the private key here and i'll copy this and paste it and add so now we have set up our all secret keys to the dashboard directly we haven't pushed it and now i need to bundle this again because i have done some changes in app.js so i'll say npm run build so it will bundle the file again remove the distribution folder and set the distribution again 
so bundling is done now we'll perform the same operation git add git commit updating this url and then we'll perform the last command that is git push heroku main so now let's wait for this command to run it will do the same operation again it will push our changes to heroku it's going to perform the same steps that ran earlier so it's almost deployed to now heroku just waiting for the final message yes verifying deploying done let's go back to our deployed version so i'll just remove slash api slash v1 refresh the page i have zoomed the page that's why it's looking so big and this time we'll say mike jackson and mike 23 at gmail.com and here i'll say 9805 some number phone number we are giving and let's hit check in and it says welcome mike jackson you are checked in and let's go to our sheet again and you can see immediately we'll get the updated data so now everything is on cloud our google sheet is on cloud our app is on the cloud and everything is working perfectly fine so now we have come to an end our application is deployed working everything is fine now we want to give user a way by which they can scan and scan the qr code and get the url of our app and in the next video we're going to set up the qr code for the app so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video